And they play a lot of guys. They play 10 guys, so they have some depth about it. McGowan's little baseline gets to the back and converts. He usually plays about 35, fourth in the league in minutes per game. Is DeVoe. What are the different ways you've seen Pitt try to attack this zone? Well, I think earlier on they struggled with being able to just bail out some shots, but now you see the penetration and the finish. By so, under two minutes to go. And Pitt is starting to smell it. Here's McGowan. McGowan's on the drive against the seven footer. <laughs> so, so regardless, the Panther staff did not think that that was a shooting foul. Tony. McGowan. Nice drive. And he got that one in. Big position for the offensive rebound. Goes back up with it, and he's denied by Terrell Brown. Showing off the handles. McGowan's coast to coast for two. With Louisville's in Florida State and everybody else. I think Virginia has a fighting chance for sure going to Greensboro. Wouldn't line is going to be successful this season. Well, you're right. You could see Armando Baycott really becoming a monster in this league in short order. The kick from McGowan's in the corner. Jumper and a three-pointer. Just up a couple of jumpers. Great hands by McGowan's. That's what he does. And he hammers it home. Childress has it batted away. Tony gives it up for the slam. McGowan's. Trying to go crossover, but the ball was deflected. And it leads to this turnover. And there goes McGowan's. And this run. <laughs> Came down gingerly. He's limping. Yeah, he is limping on his way back defensively. Not able to put much weight at all on that left leg. The stuff usually hurts a little bit more on defense. Let's see if he recovers on offense. High pick and roll. Well defended by BC. And now one's again. Ball with the indecision resulting in a turnover. The drive, McGowan's high off. Maryland, who is back to back state champs, and Coach Reed, also USA basketball royalty. So we talked with Coach Witherspoon about him recruiting. Just have not confirmed. And of course, here is Xavier Johnson, the man we highlighted in the open. He is really one of the elite players in the ACC. McGowan's deep three. It's a good defense. Now they got to play 20 more. But a turnover by the Huskies. Xavier Johnson for the trailing McGowans. And now showing a little more patience in the half court. One of the things head coach Jeff Papel stressed earlier today, the mental toughness of his team. Tim Tiger, 16 for Mack. But Amir Sims made that play. Now, Ryan Murphy tried to tip it out to his teammate, but the tip didn't go far enough. There was outstanding defense from Pitt. Comic with the outstretched hand of Champagny. Well, he is playing some great ball, as you said. That's a nice move. Finished with the left, and for Pitt, uh, that defensive breakdown, well, that has been an issue for them in this losing streak. That's just too easy of a bucket to start the game off. McGowan's shed the Brown screen all the way over the top of the ACC. Jay, I talked about it in the first, the paint touches, but also the use of ball fakes to try to move the zone and also get a bigger forward up to screen for the guards, see if they can get dribble penetration off the high screen. McGowan's a deep three. Go to ESPN Plus dot slash top rank. And be sure to download the ESPN app if you're watching on your mobile device. I can't wait to watch that one. We take a look again. Trey McGowan. The Pat Riley favorite. We just saw a team in the middle of that ACC in Clemson with a huge result against Louisville, the number five team in the country. We'll see what we have in store for a couple of teams in that crowded log jam. How about Clemson beating Duke and Louisville at home? I don't care who you put on him. Well, he's Clemson's best three-point shooter. He's a guy who can get to the basket. He's a great passer. A straight field goal. Up 
open under strong. Bad job on weak side rotation. Saar nearly averaging a double double, and he's been very good off the bench. Andy Manning says he's a cerebral guy. It helps him to sit on the bench and watch the action unfold for a few minutes. McGowan's open. Knocks it. For finals, they went on a swing of Northern California and dropped games to St. Mary's and at UC Davis as McGowan's leaps. Bang. Uh, having my brother, somebody obviously that I've grown up with, uh, love and I know I can trust. It's just been an unbelievable ride this year. Well, Brown's a guy who can catch it inside. Baker on Murphy. Now Murphy with the steal. He's going to get a chance to finish it on the other end. Three side rebound. Here's McGowan's on the move. A nice hustle back by Boo Booey. Got to keep a hand on this kid. He's got some range, Murph. Slow going offensively. McGowan's on the line. Changes. Ten turnovers. You can't make those mistakes against this. Tough little pull up here. Get him going, maybe, huh? Because you got a guy throwing an elbow. And out of the stoppage, Louisville cocked it up. They now have double-digit turnovers. Pass by McGowan. For Tony, who's been big again. Well, it's been unfortunate for North Carolina, but that was a win Virginia Tech had to have. Yeah. And the Hokies trailed for a lot of that game. They rallied. They won it a double over time. To look at it at the end of the season, but they made the right, yeah, they made the right call based on how the rule is written. Great five McGowan's to Brown, down to seven points. Well, what's the balance between wanting to be a good team, offensive rebounding, and having the discipline to get back in transition defense? Well, you got to get back in transition defense, and that, that all starts with the point guard. Point guard's got to get back on the shot, and if he's at the rim, then it's the two and the three's got to get back. But they're not offensive rebounding pit, and they're not getting back. They do get so uh, that's a good sign if your coach capable to start this game off. Good defense on Tony, who has the assignment to stick with Wold at ten side today. It was very clear with Coach Capel during practice yesterday to his team. He said, we've won because of our defense. We've got to get back to that. On the offensive end, Johnson gets a clean look. And he puts the Panthers in front. Game time five times. Has not been able to take the lead at all today. Well, we thought we might get it all the way to the house. And with 13 minutes to play, Malcolm, we're looking like we're going to go all the way to the lock. Tony. Baseline drive into the corner, Champagny. McGowan's the slash, Brown the dunk. Justin Champagny uh, playing as good as any freshman in the ACC right now. Again, uh, the future looking upwards for Pitt basketball. Absolutely. Panthers force another NC State turnover. So they protect the one-point lead. Almost six minutes gone here in the first half. NC State hit just one of their first four, four of their last five. Difference in the ball game is the three-pointer by McGowan's that got our Tony that got us started here this afternoon. Here's McGowan's on the drive. Nice pass. Cool to Bali to catch. This is a team that really needs him to produce two and seven when he finishes with single digits. Two and six when he's been out with injury. Nine and four when he hits double figures. McGowan's on the cut and a chip penny. 41-36 wake. North Carolina fans continue to come to Greensboro Coliseum and fill up the building. Tar Heels on tap in game two against Virginia Tech. Rolling inside. Nice hesitation there. They have to tighten up defensively. It's what carries the water for the Panthers. Murphy jumping back. Two-pointer. Won't drop for him. And Pitt, this is their worst three-point shooting team in school history. So they get one the easier. NC State turned it over. McGowan's to Murphy and two. Little fall away. Tried the backboard, couldn't hit that. McGowan's pushing the tempo. Champagny back in, will lay it in. This is good. <laughs> so a 7 2 lead for the Wolfpack. McGowan's trying to free up Champagny, who will get a lot of attention. He fires anyway and drains it. They're still working on their everyday habits. Murphy way too strong, but Xavier Johnson an extra possession. That's what Pitt needs when, not, when they don't score off the drive or the jumper. That extra possession for second chance points. Tony was doubled. 
The lob underneath for Koulibaly from... Local news last night said it was the most significant snowfall of the season. And they're expecting some more later today. Shot clock down to five. Deep three McGowan. He puts it in. 